Hello and welcome, superstars. It's your best friend, Scott, and this is my April recap. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, that's better. Uh, as usual, I'm going to try to fit 10 pounds of crap into a five pound bag. Uh, I've got some last minute VRs to do. We've got our shareholders meeting. I've got some care packages and some purchases and a little Strongsville recap where I forgot to mention uh, this fun shirt that Stephen with the PH gifted me. Thank you, Stephen. Um, so this intro is actually the last thing I film when I do all these. Um, but let's talk more rock. Let's do this. My BFF Eddie is celebrating five years on YouTube with a VR and I should do the same, but I still don't know what I would do because Eddie stole my idea for a VR. Not really, but uh, we did talk about doing another collaboration giveaway, but it wasn't really in the stars this year. The idea is to simply show five cards that have a common theme. See if you can figure it out. Here's a 52 tops Bob Chicalis, 54 tops Al Rosen, 1958 tops Hoyt Wilhelm, a 61 top stamps Jim Grant, and my favorite card in the whole wide world, a T206 Cy Young. And yep, you guessed it, these are all the color of the best color tape ever, green. Congrats, Eddie, YouTube is a better place with you here, sir. Green tape forever. That was easy enough. What's next? Oh, my best bud Al at Iconic Baseball is doing a double take VR where he wants to see two cards with the same photo. My first thought was Al's favorite player, Jim Tomey. He's got his Bowman and Upper Deck rookies. These are from the same photo shoot, but unfortunately they're not the same photo, so that doesn't count. But since we were talking about Eddie earlier, Eddie gave me this Mudcat Grant 1964 Weedy stamp, which has the same photo as his 1962 Tops card. And I have a ton of these. Here's a 1949 Picture Pack Bob Feller and his 1949 Bowman card. That's a new card in my collection. I'm going to talk about that later. And here's a 1949 Picture Pack Larry Doby and the 1951 Bowman Larry Doby. So there you go, Al. We could talk about Jim Tomey some more, but I've got a lot more to cover in this video. My bestie Ken, who is getting close to 1,000 subs, he wants to see a rainbow and give a couple of shout outs. So I've showed off this rainbow before for another VR, but that was years ago and it's awesome and I need to do it again. In 1958, uh, Topps knew there was one card in the set that needed to be absolutely perfect. So they did a bunch of test issues to figure out the right color combination to use. Many of you know that they did the white letters and the yellow letters, but did you know that for this card they tried the red with the yellow banner, red with the black banner, the pink was pretty sharp, here's a dark orange, orange orange, this bright green, kind of an aqua, they called this one mossy green, baby blue, royal blue, and the black. Yeah, not many people know about these cards because, well, I'm a liar and uh, they're not real, I just made it all up. Um, but let's get to those shout outs. Let's give one to my new bestie Jason at Everyday Card Collector. We hung out a bit at the Strongsville show a couple weekends ago. Really good guy. And my man Tishon Shannon's Baseball Card Theater, who is criminally under 400 subs. He's a professional writer and comedian and makes really, really funny videos. And when I end a video by saying, go find a better video to watch, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. So there you go, Ken. Last VR for this month is from my best friend who never tells me to get off his lawn. In fact, this is actually a piece of his lawn. Of course, we're talking about Rick from Vintage Oddball Cards who is celebrating 2,000 subs. And I don't really want to win this one because he's kind of sort of supporting me by giving away an Etsy gift card. But uh, I definitely want to support Rick. Uh, the task at hand is to try to find a sports card from a set that Mangini doesn't have. And that's kind of a tall order and I might not even be eligible anyway, but I'm gonna try with these 1987 Smokey Bear cards. I, I really love these, but now that I'm showing them, that seems kind of weak. So how about 1959 Oklahoma Today? Stooks gave these to me, so that means they gotta be a little rare, right? Oh man, I don't know. Your contrast is stressing me out, Rick. Time to move on. So here's what's going on with the business side of things. My focus in April was to get a lot more t-shirts up into the shop. Um, I really dove into some 1930s and 40s designs. For 33 Gaudi, I did the little copyright mark on a t-shirt and a hat, and there's a big league chewing gum t-shirt. And then I went to 34 Gaudi, where I drew a lot of inspiration from this wrapper. I've got the front of the wrapper on a t-shirt. I did the whole wrapper as a blanket and this came out really neat. And then I did the Not Whole League logo and Lou Gehrig Says t-shirts. 
And then for Diamond Stars, I did the wrapper t-shirt. I especially like this one because it seems to be a Cleveland uniform there. The uh, 38 Gaudi heads up cards are pretty popular right now. So I did a uh, wrapper t-shirt and blanket for that one. I did a 41 Playball wrapper t-shirt and a shirt for this Bloney Gum ad that was also on that wrapper. Uh, Bloney Gum went on to become Bowman Gum and I thought that was pretty cool. I also want to make a Playball wrapper blanket because it's a really cool wrapper, um, but there's a lot of time involved with that one, so I haven't gotten around to that yet. And uh, nobody's really bought a blanket yet anyway, so I'm hoping to sell some of those around Christmas time maybe. And finally, I did a design for the 1949 Leaf Box. Uh, so yeah, I got a lot of new merch up in the shop. Excited about that. I still have plenty of ideas for more shirts, so the well's not dried up by any means. For May, my plan was to focus on the printmaking, but I've got quite a few things that kind of need my attention first. Uh, a couple of super secret projects that I'm not really supposed to talk about. Shh. And uh, the commissions have been a little complicated lately, so I need to spend some more time uh, knocking some of those out. And I'm excited to announce that I've signed up for my first card show at the end of May. Uh, it's gonna be in Medina, Ohio. I'll be selling uh, t-shirts and art, and I'll have a vending machine stocked with some of my customs, and uh, maybe I'll find some uh, baseball cards that I'm willing to part with. And lastly, I made this postcard to hand out when I went to the Strongsville show, and I'll have it on my table at shows coming up. Mrs. Reindeer really didn't want me showing you guys this coupon code, but I reminded her that the whole idea was to get people to buy stuff, and then she's like, oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. And you guys are my best friends, so you should all get a discount, right? But enough of this stuff, let's see some cards. My bestie Doug at Don't Talk to Robots sent over some goodies. This says, yo, Scott, thanks so much for your support of our channel. Anytime, Doug. I think these should complete your DT2ARC sticker collection. Sweet. Hopefully some of these cards will fit in your PC. Love seeing Reindeer Studios Art Factory pumping out some cool pieces. Keep on rocking your BFF, Doug at Don't Talk to Robots. So here are those stickers, the 2023 Christmas Robot and the little Topps Donruss mashup. Doug makes the best stickers. I'm always thrilled to add those. And here's a red foil Andres Jimenez Stadium Club rookie, Jose, commemorative patch Jose, and I did not have any of those. And nice, a Tiger Twirlers Don Mossy. I have this one signed, but I didn't have an unsigned one. Thanks, Doug. These rock. This care package is from my 55th ranked best friend, Tony Black from TB's TTM Autographs. Tony was on vacation visiting the Baseball Hall of Fame, and he sent me a little souvenir. Neat little Norman Rockwell postcard, and check this out, an autographed Jim Hegan exhibit card. Super, super cool. Thank you, Tony. That is awesome. I think that moves you up to my 50th ranked bestie, at least. Oh, wait, there's a note. It says, uh, Mr. Reindeer Studio, since Norman Rockwell was an artist, I think you needed some of his work on your next video. Maybe one day the city of Stowe will open the Reindeer Studios Museum. It can happen. Your 55th highest ranked BFF, Tony. You're moving on up the ladder there, Tony. Thanks again, buddy. I've been being good about not spending money on eBay, but I had a little gift card money left over and I was excited about the start of the season, so I added to my Guardian's autograph project. Here are Lucas Giolito, Peyton Battenfield, Tyler Beatty, and Jose Tania. I think that puts me at right about 90% of everybody that's ever played for the Guardians. Most of what I have left are relief pitchers, and a lot of these guys only played a handful of games sometimes, but it's fun to track them down. A lot of you are aware that my best friend Don has been selling off a good part of his collection lately, and he had this 53 Bowman Larry Doby, which I did not have, so I grabbed that. And if Don ever decides that he wants it back, I can sell it to him for twice what I paid. Thanks, Don. And finally, a little Strongsville recap. Uh, there have been a lot of videos already made about this show, and it really was a fantastic show. I was selling shirts out of the back of my van, and it was neat seeing so many people wearing my stuff. Here's James and Warren rocking my top years design. I went in with a pretty modest budget, but I still came away with some fun stuff. And it didn't hurt that I was gifted more than I bought. I'll start out with some customs. Theo gave me a four collectors card that he tried to sign. This is Darren from Return to Collecting, super fun one. Rocket Rick gave me a little envelope full of goodies, including Feller. Bert was an Indian, Eddie was an Indian, and uh, Wade here was not an Indian, but this is the best card in the envelope, Rocket Rick's custom. Thanks, Rick. My man Don bought me this 60 Fleer Ralph Kiner, so I had to get this Tris speaker from the same set. 
I had agreed to buy this Winfield rookie from Matt at The Card Story, but he just gave it to me. Uh, Winfield played a couple games for the Indians, so I tried to get the rookie cards of all the Hall of Famers that played for the team. And then Matt also gave me this 1961 7-11 Don Mossy. Super ugly, super weird, and super awesome. I love it, Matt. It's great to pick up a Don Mossy card that I didn't even know existed. And then the mayor of Strongsville, Chris from Missouri, very generously gifted me this 49 Bowman Bob Feller, a card that I've had on my list for years, but I never got around to picking it up. And this means the world to me, Chris. Thank you. I almost forgot to include this sign ball that Warren D. and the CLE gifted me, but we got Len Barker with his perfect game inscription. And on the other side, Super Joe Charbonneau. Thanks, Warren. I love it. Here's the stuff that I actually bought. I grabbed these signed 1950 Bowman cards from Early Win and Bob Lemon. Very excited to find those. I was digging through value boxes with Warren and I grabbed some binder cards for my team sets. 55 Bowman Houdeman and Majeski, 52 Tops George Zuverink. This really nice uh, 75 TCMA Larry Doby and a super clean 54 Bowman Luke Easter. From my man B. Roth, I bought this 1934 batter up Joe Vosmick and I'd been eyeing this 38 Gaudi Moose Solters. I'm happy to add an example from that set. And finally, a couple of postcards. I bought this cool embossed postcard and this really creepy and really awesome Naked Cherubs playing baseball postcard because who doesn't love Naked Cherubs playing baseball, right? Right? Anybody? Maybe it's just me. Well, on that note, that's it for now. Thanks to Eddie. Al, Ken, and Rick for the awesome VRs. Don't forget to check out Jason and Tishon. Thanks to Doug and Tony for the fun care packages. Thanks to Theo, Darren, Rick, Don, Matt, Chris, Brian, Warren, Stephen, and everybody else who came to Strongsville to visit me. Such a fun weekend. You guys did come just to visit me, right? Uh, but anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch, and we'll see you real soon.